Hey guys, Cam here from today's iPhone.com and this is Lego Batman DC Superheroes. Now the whole point of this game is that you are Batman and you're trying to defeat all the enemies which include the popular ones such as the Joker, even Lex Luthor's involved, but you get to team up with people like Superman, the Green Lantern, all those guys. It's pretty awesome and obviously it's all made to look like it's Lego. Now there's various controls and each uh, each superhero has got his own superpowers but these can kind of all the abilities can kind of be changed as you get different suits. Now he's got this electricity suit on so um, he can um, absorb and give out electricity but also you have access to the Batarang this thing here where you can aim it at certain objects or enemies such as them or even Dr. Freeze who happens to be up there and you can do that uh, you can interact with various objects just by tapping on them Now the aim, as with all other LEGO games for iPad and iPhone, you is to collect loads of coins. Um, you're supposed to proceed to the next level, the next, and try and basically get to the end of the story. But as you get through there, as you collect more coins, you can unlock more characters who all have their own abilities. What will normally happen is you'll get to the end of a certain level and you'll have to fight a boss. In this case, it's Dr. Freeze, but there have been the previous levels before this one. Uh, where it's been the likes of the Joker and the Riddler, even Catwoman. Um, it's all rather cool. And this is just a snapshot. I mean, this is just one level. You can see you interact by moving one finger if you want to jump or double jump. You double tap you with your other finger or thumb. And if you want to swap characters, you simply hit on the icon in the top and you can do so. So he's defeated and what will happen is as you go through it and you get through to different levels um, obviously it will tell you that you've defeated your, your enemy or the boss and what will then happen is it then plays out part of the story like a lot of the Harry Potter ones did. Um, it is really really cool, I really like it and I love it. It's actually got its own original story, they haven't copied one from a film, they've obviously had to create their own because it's obviously got all the superheroes as well as Batman in it. Uh, which the movies don't normally. Um, now if I go into options you'll have a look at what there is. Now you've got sound effects, music, subtitles, hint icon on, uh, casual controls, you can change your controls if you want to. Um, you can have a d-pad if you don't like just having a free roaming menu then that's fine. Extras, there are no extras. Not not yet. There are in-app purchases. You can unlock other characters like I show you if you go into here You can see which ones are unlockable. The ones with the padlock closed obviously I haven't unlocked yet um, But let's say you wanted to buy them you can just hit on the trolley cart and you can buy them at some point You can unlock other bits and pieces so I need to buy golden bricks. You can see you can buy golden bricks using real money if you want to. And that is that. That's a brief version of the game. It does have uh, Game Center built in if you want to challenge me. You can do it. I'm cam.dwb on Game Center. Uh, feel free to compare scores. Um, one thing I didn't like about this, I mean these particular menus aren't aren't exactly intuitive, they're hard to get used to, but the actual gameplay itself is really fun. Um, I love the storyline, I love the originality of it, and I love the fact that you can change your powers to do certain things, like he's got his freeze suit on now, so he's just done that, and meaning I can climb up waterfalls. And it's all that kind of stuff, the little tricks that they put in every now and then, 
uh, which I really enjoyed. But that's that. If you want to buy it, you can do in the App Store in the UK. It's two dollars, two pounds ninety nine. In the States, it's four dollars and ninety nine. I'll leave a link in the description box. It is one point three three gigabytes worth of the download, so it's a pretty good game. I mean, it's a pretty big game. There's a lot to do in there. You feel like you've done it all, and you can just keep on going around it again and unlocking various new things. Um, but really great game. Uh, check it out if you like my review. Feel free to subscribe, follow me on Twitter, I'm at TIP underscore Cam, and I will see you again soon.